So we're going to set off up the strines straight back to Barnsley and then scoot back over to Rotherham with a V. All right, see you later. I'll not put tunes on because YouTube don't like it. Oh, this is a narrow road, isn't it? Or is it just, oh no, it threw me a bit. Old motorbike has come down here. If you can hear all this jingling, it's my coil. <laughs> all right, it's my keys. I say I'm like a jailer and every single one I need. I had to, everybody mocks me because I've always got a 10 milli spanner somewhere near me. I had to use it earlier keep getting yellow warning lamp on me dash I said dash and uh, <laughs> sorry I mean one oh body of water up there oh I wonder what that is should we go find it should we find what that is down there booby what is it oh bloody others more sheep sheepsicles I ain't got a clue what I'm talking about now yeah, old bikers come down here. Apparently there's a pub called something like the Strines Inn, which I think I've come past once before and it were closed. I think they were getting a refurb, but I need to find out what, it, what this water is. It's supposed to have been sunsetting about eight o'clock tonight. I think they were lighting. Saying that it's because, uh... hey, up, oh, got some more. Hello. Look, booby. Look, booby, look, there. What's that there? Look. Oh, oh, look. Look, booby. Look. Hello. Don't come butting me. Bloody hell. What's my paperwork? It took me two hours to sit down and get that like that. But yeah, I know I said earlier on that uh, I'm allowed to say things like that, because I am. Um, as we know, well, quite a few of you will know that's on here. It's been the most horrendous year. It's been 12 months since I lost my mother. Not been able to barber anymore when it's been your absolute passion and joy for like 30 plus years because your knees have actually given up the ghost. It's been an odd one. So, but as you know, I don't go on about it. I just get on with it. I just crack on. And um, like tonight, I thought I would done for day. Take it steady on here because I don't actually know what it's like. I just know it's a lot of bends. Oh, is this that pub? Um, that I just get up and do whatever. I have a good day. But after it taking a million days to, to polish my car earlier. Oh, hi, it's very, very rurally out here. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Peacock. In fact, they're both males, aren't they? Look at you. Wow, what else are we going to get out here? So we're not counting roadkill today, they're all alive. Brilliant. So it put me in bed for all afternoon. Put me in bed for all afternoon, but took some painkillers, rested it out. And then remembered I'd left gimbal in car, so I thought, well, as soon as I start chucking clothes back on, dog's going mad, so I'm like, come on then, let's go for a run out, booby. Our little booby big bollies. So, my idea originally, after watching this fantastic YouTube channel earlier, I've got to tell you about it, I can't even remember what his name was. Oh, I can. Something the curb. From the curb? I'll put it into I'll put it in comments. Comes about he's not a, had a good twelve months. You know, price of living, business win a little bit, teats up and things just because nobody's got no money, and especially in certain trades. Um and he decided to gear his house up and go van life in. 
Now, since Cat and Dave got their um, van, I've been looking at it and like, shall I, Sean, Ty? Is it worthwhile having two motors again on road when I've just got rid of having to fork out for two? But you know, I've always loved my camping. Well, that's not really good now, it leg situation. Um, I know I've got two new knees, but that doesn't take away pain everywhere else that I've got it. Having two lots of arthritis, as I've, it's a right laugh. It's absolutely hilarious. Not. Um, so yeah, I'm like, it's set me off now. He's been living it back in his van. I mean, I'm not obviously going to live it back in my van, but it'd be great for me and our booby to go and do extra long weekends like he used to do with camping. Probably flog all camping gear, and um, I might start looking into buying a little van. So, thanks for that. I can't remember his name, was it Mark? I know she's Helen. I think it was Mark, Mark and Helen. But it comes back that it's from Barnsley. Literally a spit up road. Been doing it for about 12 months now, this YouTube business classes it as his job now he can rattle as much as what I can like any true Yorkshire Yorkshire folk you know I'd, I'd talk that tree to death if it'll let me oh it's beautiful up here so yeah I will shut up now and we will find out what this water is down here I'm gonna go down see the draw Looks like some form of reservoir. Oh, I can see what's going to happen here. As soon as I can, I'm going to turn around and get back onto the strines because I did something like this the other day and I end up in six foot of bloody sludge dinner. I had to do a YouTube, a YouTube. I had to do a U-turn because it just weren't accessible. As soon as you start getting lower and lower on these country roads, you've pretty much buggered it, haven't you? Look, seen water now. But that looks like just some kind of reservoir, nothing fancy. I will turn into here. Just hope that nobody's razzing round bend. So upper Upper Thorn Seal Farm, I think it says. Look. Upper Thorn Seat Farm. That looks nice. Oh, uh, it's wet. But yeah, I went past the mini. Sorry, a mini shot past me earlier because I weren't doing. I weren't going fast enough in doing fifty in a fifty. Um, and as soon as he got past me, straight away wash wipes because I've got roof off because obviously I'm the ex topless barber. As in ex barber, not ex topless. Um, and I'm pretty. <laughs> 99 times out of 100, as soon as little boy racers get past you, they stick windscreen wipers on. And the thing is, jokes on them because it flies straight over the top of me. Have you seen how tall I am? I'm like, you know, knee eye to a, a gnat. So it flies straight over the top of my head and I've got one of them wind deflectors anyway. Idiots. So it, it just amuses me. So we're back on Mortimer Road. Let's go and see if that... Let's go and see if that pub's open. I ain't right to you, yeah. I 
can't believe I've got my YouTube mics and they're in boot with, with gimbal. Like an idiot. So, if you can't hear me, I'm going to have to enhance it a little bit on my video when I decide to make some... Oh, don't kill that bird. We don't want that on video, do we? When I decide to get round to making another video. Because uh, I know these vloggers, I know they do it daily, but I don't want to be getting in people's faces too much. Maybe random chit chat. Ooh, guess the knows where I'm like. Ooh, that's what we like to see. Sit down then, booby. You've got your basket. Oh, that's nice. Thought some do it backing me then, but they're in. It was my own uh, engine echoing on me. Stealther, got a stealther here. Right up there for you and Cat, uh, Cat and Dave, that, that little pog. it steady on here because I've never been down before so until I get used to it a few a few times not only that you never know there's bikers everywhere and bush, bush irons even at this time of day ooh, ooh god my stomach went It's lovely around here. it's quite a conservation area which I'm not surprised after seeing we've seen sheep and rams peacocks not peacocks what were they pheasant they were a little great tit earlier and that's another thing I mean you see all flowers and reeves at places like this because the bits of calves look there that second bit I've seen already cars and motorbikes just winding up winding back up all the way back to Barnsley area I found this the other day because on YouTube I whenever I see I'm whenever I'm out about around Derbyshire or anywhere like that if I see a pack of bikes bikers as in motorbikers I'll just follow them because there is no best roads for those little MX fibers so I sort of tag on and um, I'd just gone on to Google and said the uh, sort of best motorbiking roads South Yorkshire, Yorkshire. And I found this video on YouTube on the strines and I thought that's somewhere that I need to be coming down. And yeah, it's been, been lovely up to now. Cop car. I expected to see that, saying that though. 
they've probably just been out to Matlock Way and that, aren't they? The city of Sunday and you get all your bikers along these areas, don't you? So they like to start lobbying tickets out this way. Their way. Boobie and a bun. Makes me laugh. I've been on a diet for four weeks, a proper one. One of these, uh, you know, where you go to clubs and things. And I managed to put weight on. I've come off it. Can I hit blue lights? Uh, as long as they're not after me. Um, I've come off it because they were trying their hardest to sign me back up for another month which you can't see sense in that and it's the only diet I've never lost weight on ever I'm more successful with my, my fitness pal so I've come off and uh, I've lost weight by not being on it I told them originally that I'm not a snacker and all this eating every three hours. I know I know all science at back of it, but if you're still eating more calories than what I were in the first place, when they know that I'm not overly mobile, I can drive obviously, but But yeah, come off it and I've, I've instantly lost weight. Bizarre. Ooh, that's a nasty drop down there. Ooh, oh, I crumbly roll. Now there won't be much left here if you went over top of there. Keep going out of focus because walls are close. Deeper than what I were expecting. YouTuber earlier, I know I'm rattling on. Um, the amount of places that he'd been to, like from literally from um, from Barnsley Town Centre to Benners, and I, I must have watched about ten videos this afternoon. Um, and I'm like, I've been in there, I've stayed there, you know. Uh, and his ethics and everything, exactly the same as me. Get up in the morning, see what life throws at you. 